Right, how are you feeling just you know going into your senior season and just talk about just all the expectations and everything and how you're doing? Um, I mean I'm feeling good going into the season, uh, very confident. I think our team has progressed well this offseason and made a lot of improvements. Um, I think the biggest thing for us is improving the passing game like we always talk about. And I think defensively we made a lot of improvement with uh, Coach Boo coming in, uh, revamping our defense, giving them a new confidence, new swagger. And I mean, I'm excited to see what they can do this season to complement the offense. You went to the, the Manning camp in New Orleans a couple weeks ago. Um, talk about just being around Archie Manning, Peyton, and Eli. Talk about just being around them and just those type of guys and what they kind of told you. Yeah, um, I mean, those they're great people, very down to earth, which is, I mean, it's nice to see that you have Super Bowl winning quarterbacks all around you, and it's a little bit surreal actually meeting them in person, but I mean, they're always there, always talking to you, always kind of giving you different pointers um, when you're throwing different things that they do. So I think going through that and being there with a bunch of college quarterbacks that, I mean, you see on TV, you see what they can do. Um, it's just a great experience to be there and kind of learn from some of the best. And during that, they said uh, ESPN analysts, uh, was Jesse Palmer and Chris Mortensen, were, were hyping you up pretty good. They're talking about how you're kind of, about you, 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 you know, I guess, um, raise some eyebrows, if you will. Like, talk about just what that meant. Um, I mean, that's kind of what I went down there for. Um, I mean, I'm very confident in my throwing ability. I think me being a runner, um, a lot of people just look at that and they don't really look at the throwing side. So I think going down there, being able to throw next to a lot of the big names in college football and being compared side by side with them really helped me get my name out there and show people what I'm capable of. And then Coach Hall talked a lot about efficiency. He doesn't really yeah. care about, you know, the yards as much, but just being efficient, completion percentage. How have you worked on that to get better? I think the biggest thing with that is uh, just throwing the ball with the receivers and getting your timing down and being on the same page uh, where if you see a window, they're in the window. And when you let go of a ball, they know it's going to be there. And I think just building that confidence, that trust, that relationship is the biggest thing as far as getting the ball in their hands. Is there any differences in arm angle? I mean, release points, any kind of tactical changes like that? Um, I mean, I've always been working on my release since I've been here, um, getting it over the top. But I think the, um, I think the biggest thing um, as far as that goes is just uh, throwing with the receivers again and getting that timing down. Um, can Dante Moak run a 4 2 40? Is that legit? That, that, the Pro Scouts got me a, like a 4 2 4, a 4 1 8, and a 4 2 2. So, I, I think three times in a row is uh, proof in itself. Did, did you know he could do that? Like, you knew he's fast, um, but I mean, that's I mean, I knew he was fast, and I mean, he was a track champ coming out of high school, so I always knew he had that speed, but I didn't know he had that speed. <laughs> so that's fastest guy on the team speed, isn't it? Oh yeah. So I mean, that's if he runs at the combine, that's fastest combine time maybe ever yeah, speed. So, exactly. Um, with your running backs, you have a, you have a lot of running backs this year, and Coach Hall was saying you know Vi's the guy, and he has the, the credentials, but he's also Mike Ball might be the best running back you guys have. Do you kind of agree with that? Um, physically and athletically, Mike Ball is. I mean, he's head and shoulders above uh, the running backs. Um, I mean, you see some of the moves he makes and some of the things he's capable of. Um, it's amazing. Um, I mean, we don't get me wrong. Vi's a great running back. He's very talented with what he does. Um, I think where he separates himself is he has a great feel for the game and what's going on and what he needs to get done. And he's very smart with the things that he does. Um, I think his exper experience helps him there, whereas Mike Ball doesn't have the experience. So he lacks in that area. And aside from one of the questions about a paper, rock, scissors competition from the last guy, but he said, he talked about Heisman hype. And now, you know, if, you, if, if you're in a position, would you, you know, would you run with it? And you said yes, but how are you handling kind of all that hype? I mean, everybody really knows your name now, it seems. Um, I mean, I don't think that's something you can really worry about. Um, I think if you keep playing well and 
people talk about you, stuff like that naturally comes. So, I mean, for me, I'm just focused on this season. I'm focused on trying to win a championship in my last year.